Hello everyone, we've got a great new feature for you today. So this is perfect for people who are either running an agency or a small team. If you have two or more people, um, this is going to be perfect for you. So you already know that we have an automated routing process for approving social media posts. But now we've created a manual one and it allows you to do something special. So this one's called hold posts for approval. And just click on this hand to make it work. And now what happens is you can attach a note, a message to everybody you want to route this for approval to. So basically I can say, please add text. And I can include all of the different people on my team who I want to include in this. So you'll notice that we've um, also changed our social profiles. If you have not uploaded a social profile image, to your user account or your main account, it's going to show as the first letter of each of your you know, first and last names. So your initials will show up here and we've kind of automated the uh, color scheme here to match the colors of our software. So basically, um, all of the people that are included on your routing are going to receive an email letting them know that this post is held. It's gonna send them the message and it's going to allow them to come in and either approve it, any one of the four people or however many people that you include on this, um, any one of them will be able to approve it, but also any one of them can add to the message. So you can actually have a bit of a dialogue going on up here. They can make changes, mark things as done, and um, approve it, cancel it, save it, or do whatever they want. And there's something very special about this compared to our automated routing system. So basically, um, even if any one of these people are not admins, this will give them temporary admin permissions just for this one social post. So if you have somebody who's not an admin user, let's say this user is not an admin, it doesn't matter. When Jack logs into his user account, he is going to be able to see this post in the queue held for his approval and he'll be able to read the note. So let's go through that. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the other end. Let's see here. We also need to check with legal. So let's add a nice note there and I'm gonna save it. So you'll notice now this turns red. So you can also see when you hover over it, it shows them what the note is that's attached to this particular um, message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a quick image. Let's make this an actual social post. So now we have an image, but you see we have no text. So we've asked our team to add text to it. So I'm going to add this to Q. And we'll be able to go in and look at how it looks in the queue. So it's going to look the same in the queue as it will for the person who sent it as it will for any of the people that were included on this routing. So Jack, for example, if he logged in, he would be able to see this as well. So see this little note here? When you hover over the note, it is going to say, please add text. We also need to check with legal. So he could see what the note is before he even goes in and edits it. So just at a glance, you could see the note. And since it's held for approval, they'll be able to go in and edit this. And see the image here and see the red note. So as you can see, please add text. We also need to check with legal. So Jack might click on this and say, legal has approved, still needs text. And save that. Now, when any one of the other users go in and they check on the note, it's going to include the additional text. So we're not suggesting that you replace your automated routing for your automated workflow, but this works really, really well when you have a one-off. Let's say you have something, you know, that, you know, like this example, it needs text added, or maybe, you know, your copywriter wrote something and then they want an image added. They can send that over to the person on the team who generates images. Legal is another great example. If there's something that looks questionable, you can route it to legal, have them approve it directly, make the edits, um, and approve that. So it's going to really help you out in that regard. There's one other thing that this does that our automated routing doesn't do. Let's say you like to log in as the account owner. As you know, only sub-users can be a part of an automated workflow. 
approval workflow. But with this feature, we actually allow you to include the account owner as well, just to make it a little easier for you guys. And one other thing to mention is, if you do have an automated workflow set up and you're logged in as a user who is required to route all of your posts for approval to another user, you won't see the hand icon um, because everything you send will have to be sent through the automated process. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the new feature. If you have any questions about it, as always, just reach out to us in chat or on our Facebook group and have a fantastic day.